Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Charles Cromarty Compton, known to all as Miss Charlie, is often referred to as the first preservationist in Natchez. In 1924, she tried to halt the demolition of the historic marketplace, city hall, and jail complex, a series of buildings that had stood on Wall Street since the 1830s. Sadly, she was unsuccessful in her efforts, although she stood defiantly on the steps of the marketplace during demolition. Miss Charlie could also claim the title of first publicist in Natchez. As the city's first tour guide, she touted the popularity of Natchez as a tourist destination in the mid-1920s, years before local women would launch the Natchez pilgrimage. Natchez can really be made a popular resort for winter tourists, she wrote. It is simply a matter of advertising the advantages of this city. In 1935, Miss Charlie and her half-sister celebrated the increasingly popular home tour in their book, Natchez and the Pilgrimage, a copy of which Compton sent to Eleanor Roosevelt prior to her visit to Natchez in 1939. Miss Charlie's name lives on in the annals of American horticulture as well. In 1918, the director of the Arnold Arboretum at Harvard named a variety of oak for her, which today is commonly known as the Compton Oak. Miss Charlie died in 1944, but her efforts continued to be recognized as the Historic Natchez Foundation annually presents the Miss Charlie Preservation Award to an outstanding preservationist in our city. I am Mary Ike, and I live in Miss Charlie's house on the corner of Rankin and Washington Street. This has been your Natchez History Minute.